Hey, what's happening, guys? I thought today we'd take a look at this super cheap lithium charger that I bought off of Amazon. This is the EBL Universal Lithium Ion Charger, and it was like $8 when I bought it. It comes with a little micro USB plug. And if you look here, you can see that's red. That's telling us it's charging. Green charging is complete. It's a weird little unit. I have some other ones. And in my other ones, <clears throat> generally, you take the negative end of the battery and you pull down on the uh, connector. Well, on this one, you take the negative end of the battery and you have to push up. And it, it doesn't want to go. You have to kind of get lucky <laughs> to get that guy in there like that. So, yeah, it's not a lot of not a lot of play there. And you see, we do have just the slightest little bit of room up at the top, which means it will do the, uh, the lithium batteries with the little button nub on top or without. And according to Amazon, this is a uh, speedy, smart lithium charger for 3.7 volt lithium ion IMR 10, 440, 14, 500, 16, 340, 18, 650, and RCR 123A batteries. And it has overcharge, overcurrent, overvoltage, overheat, and short circuit protection. It weighs nothing, maybe an ounce. So DC input DC in five volts, one amp output 4.2 volts, 350 milliamps times two. Production date on this 2105. Of course, 21 means years, five means month. So what May of 2021? There's a battery type, uh, some risk. Then you can see our specifications here. No underwriter's lab, of course. Let me get these ba uh, screws out and take a look inside. All right, down to the last screw. And as you can see here, they're basic, your little sheet metal type screws threaded directly into the plastic. There's no, no inserts or anything. So let's take it apart. All right, so on the bottom, we just have some guides. Little plastic side inserts. So there are our connection sliders. Yeah, they're not, they're not terrific. So we've got a double-sided board here. I don't know if you can see that, it says micro USB. We've got three capacitors on this side, our positive contacts, and uh, charging indicator LEDs. And as you can see by the three dots on each one, they are bicolor LEDs. Wow. Look at that solder glob there. Let's zoom in. Okay. So if we look at this side, you can see a capacitor. And then those two pads there, which go to that capacitor. Over here, you see this capacitor. And... It is solder bridged. Look at that. I wonder if they did that on purpose. I mean, this thing works, so there's no real issues with it. And it simply has a couple of uh, TP4056 chips. And some resistors for setting the current. I'm, I'm, I'm really just... Uh, 
amazed by that. Now, see, they didn't do it on the other side. So it's obviously a mistake. Should we fix it? See what happened? It, it, it worked fine before. So now exactly half of you are sitting there going, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Well, the other half of you are going, yeah, let's see what happens. I'm in the yeah, let's see what happens group. Can't help it. All right. Got our soldering iron heated up. Got our sucker ready here. Wow. Three forty is not even touching that. So that's got to be some sort of high temperature lead free solder. There we go. We're getting in there now. I think. That stuff just does not want to melt there. <clears throat> Let me throw a little, a little nice leaded solder in here and see if we can make any difference at all. All right, that's definitely wet. Yeah, we definitely got some solder out of there, didn't we? Do we break the bridge? Not really. Try and get in there one more time. Yeah, all right, all right, all right now we're good. Now we're good. Look at all that solder I just sucked off of there. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Yep. It's like we broke our bridge. Good deal. So now we reassemble. And as you can see, everything kind of keys in place. Which is very nice. I don't like working on things where you have to try and figure out a way to force them into place or hold them because you, you, you know that you know they didn't do that at the factory when they built this stuff so it's like they must have had some sort of jig so I, li I like it when that's already built in it just makes things easier All right, let's try this again. In the wrong direction? Yep, I had it in the wrong direction. There we go. Get our screws in here. We'll be good to go. All right, last screw. Thing seems good. Okay. 
Man, see, that, that is just so tough. That's the only thing I don't like about this charger. It's just a bit difficult to deal with. There we are. So that's the EBO lithium ion universal charger. Probably one of the cheapest dual battery lithium chargers you can get. I'll put a link to it down below if you're interested. If you get one, you know, beware you might have that issue with a solder bridge inside. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. To my friends in the UK, I mean in the in the Ukraine, I'm praying for you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.